What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843, back with another vending video. In today's video, it's another bonus video to celebrate Arcade Pinball Vending Coin Op and All Things Cool Auction Week. We're going to do LED light in an older soda machine for under $10. That's right guys, we did an LED light upgrade video in our Dixie Narco 501 e-machine. We did it for under $50. And a lot of people commented and said that's still too expensive. So here we go, guys. We're doing a video LED light conversion in a soda machine for less than $10. So here we go. This is a, uh, it's an older style Coke machine. And this is at a customer's house. And they reached out to me and they said, hey, my light's not working. I want to convert it to LED. Can you do it for me? So I said, yes, but you got to let me film it. <laughs> so here we go. So they have a 24 inch light. It was a fluorescent. You saw us remove the fluorescent light. We're moving things around. We're going to make sure the machine is unplugged and powered off. We're going to start by removing the old fixture. Then we'll insert the new fixture and put it in. And how it's going to work is very similar to how we wired the other machine. We're going to use the existing wiring, the 120 volt um, AC wiring going into the, um, into the ballast is where we're going to tap in. So we'll actually cut the wire going into the ballast and that's where we'll tap in that 120 volts to get our new LED light going. So here we go. All we're doing at this point is just removing the old fixture. And this old fixture has the ballast attached to it uh, over there on the left-hand side. I know it's tough to see. I'll put a picture of, up on the screen of what an old ballast looks like so you can kind of get an idea. And we're just gonna clip off the wires that are going into that ballast. You can see they're kind of tacked in right there. They're uh, connected like on like a little, I don't know, secure thing to the door. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut those wires off. I'm, I'm over there looking for my wire cutters right now. <laughs> there they are. Let's go ahead and clip that off. We'll get it out of the way. And again, we're going to take a LED light, just a, a regular old LED under counter light from Walmart of all places. Um, I'll also put a picture up, uh, up here on the screen of the LED light we're using. It's $9.97 from Walmart. You can find it in the electrical aisle with all the light bulbs and all that stuff. Should just be right down there at your local Walmart. It's a 24 inch under counter LED lights. So let's take a look at these wires here. So as you can see, those are the 120 volt VAC wires that are going into, they were going into the old ballast. We're going to go ahead and strip the ends of them and we're just going to use standard butt connectors to connect to our new wire. So we'll get into that in just a minute. All I'm doing is stripping those wires off to make sure that we can make a good connection. There we go. Got those all stripped off. And here is the light. It's a 24 inch LED slim under cabinet light. Again, from Walmart, $9.97. You can find it at your local Walmart in the electrical slash light bulb aisle. And what we're gonna do, because I didn't want to actually drill into that door, um, because that could uh, cause the cold air to leak out, what I'm gonna use is some heavy duty double-sided tape. So we'll show you that in just a minute too. We're actually gonna affix it to the back of the light and stick it right to the door. So here's the wiring. As you can see, this uh, this kit comes with multiple wires. It comes with a long wire that you can plug into like an, an AC outlet, and it comes with a shorter wire that you can use for daisy chaining lights. So if you want to run multiple lights, like in a line, there's the, the and that's that's just what we're going to use. We're going to use that small little little wire because that's we don't really need a bunch of wires. We don't need to plug it in like we did at the other machine. We're just going to tap directly in by using those those connectors into the 120 volt wire that was going to the ballast so here is the led light as you can see it's going to fit perfectly and it's a nice slim lightweight light it's going to go in there just right it's going to look awesome and there is the double-sided tape on the back all we're going to do is just peel that backing off there and this is a, a very very sticky double-sided tape it's by 3m it's really good stuff i think i got it at like home depot or something like that but this is other than the light everything else i already had on hand i had the connectors I had the double-sided tape, so all I spent was $9.99, I'm sorry, $9.97 to buy this light from Walmart. So here we go, we're sticking it to that door right where the old light was. Again, there was a 24-inch fluorescent light here in this location. We're just putting this LED light where that fluorescent light was, and it's the same size, so everything should work out just right. There we go, it's all stuck in place. Now all we need to do is just connect those wires in. So we'll clip off that plug with our wire cutters. We'll strip those wires and then we'll splice in or we'll use those connectors to connect the wires 
to the LED light. Once we got that taken care of, we'll go ahead and close it up. We'll put, we'll put the power back to the machine and it should light right up. All right, those wires are all stripped out. Let's go ahead and grab our connectors. Let's uh, twist twist the wires to make sure they're nice and secure. We'll grab those. We're just gonna use some standard, um, I think they're 12 gauge butt joint connectors. They're the yellow ones. They The ones you'll typically use for 120 volt wires. Um, and again, I just had these in my toolbox. Let's make sure all the, all the wires are stripped and good and not too long because you don't want them hanging out of those connectors too. So we'll make sure that's all ready to go. So now, like I said, all we need to do is to use those connectors to connect those two wires up. Again, I'm going to search around my toolbox for the connectors. And there they are. There's those two connectors we're going to use. And all we're going to do is just crimp those on to the wires. So I've got my crimping tool. We'll start with one side, crimp it on, then crimp it to the other side. And again, this is 120 volts of AC electricity. So this is not low voltage, it's technically high voltage, right? But it's not like super high voltage. It's standard, like just like you plug into your wall. So that's why you wanna make sure your machine is unplugged when you're doing this work because you could shock yourself if the machine is not unplugged. So make sure you unplug your machines. So while we're connecting these wires up, I wanna remind you guys, it's time to subscribe to Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube. We need your help to grow and that's the only way we can keep making videos is if we keep growing. So do us a favor and click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. Also while you're down there, make sure you give us a thumbs up to like the video. When you like our videos, YouTube will push our videos out to other new viewers again and help the channel grow. All right, doing the final crimps onto those wires. It's a little challenging on, one, on, on the second side because you have to kind of fish that wire up into the inside of the crimping tool. So we got one wire connected, it looks good. The other one is done on one side. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Then we can plug the machine in and the light should just light right up. So one more crimp connector and we should be good to go. I'm getting everything lined up. I'll insert the wire. And then I'll go ahead and squeeze it closed. There we go, all right. So our wire connections are made. Everything looks good. All we need to do now is plug the machine back in, make sure the light lights up good, then we can close the machine up and wrap this video up. There we go, machine plugged in, light lit up just fine. Let's go ahead and close the machine up. And I will tell you, if you look to the left, there's like a, there's some sort of like piece of metal strip on the left that actually when we closed the door, it pushed on that wire, which popped our light off of that door. So I'm gonna have to fix that off camera. I don't notice it because it's, it was bright out when I was filming. So if you look closely, you can see that the light is kind of slanted down. So we did fix that off camera. Here's a picture that the owner sent us at, after dark to see how it looks. So it could be diffused a little bit more and maybe we can go back and work on diffusing that light a little bit better, but I think it looks pretty cool at night. Definitely better than what it was because there was no light previously. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video about how to change your older soda machine to an LED light for under $10. Thanks for watching guys. Let's wrap this video up. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're working our way to that next milestone and we need your help to get there. So if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. And while you're down there, please give us a thumbs up to like the video and also make sure you share our videos with your friends. All right, guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch our videos and thank you so much for your support. We really do appreciate you all. It is time to wrap this video up, guys. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.